Hello and welcome to another Carfix video from Carfix, where I do what I love and I love what I do. In today's video I'm going to be uh, checking the front suspension and uh, steering linkage on this 2005 Chevy Suburban Z71. Now, but before we begin, uh, we need to find out what kind of suspension this uh, front suspension this vehicle has. Now, uh, this vehicle uh, does not use uh, uh, coil springs, uh, McPherson strut or leaf springs for the front suspension. Uh, it uses something called uh, torsion bars. Now, uh, if we look down here, see that's 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 the left torsion bar right there, and there's another one on the other side. Now the torsion bar is actually connected to the uh, lower control arm. Uh, now in order to check uh, uh, if the upper and lower ball joints have uh, any play in them, uh, I have to take the load off of them. So basically uh, I have to jack up the car on the control arm itself uh, to, uh, to, to release the load. And also this front independent suspension system uses uh, a dual wishbone style upper and lower control arms uh, with uh, ball joints so uh, the upper is right here and the lower is down here also for the steering system we need to find out what kind of uh, steering system this vehicle has now uh, this this vehicle does not use a rack impedance style uh, uh, steering system uh, it uses something called steering box which as you can see here this is one two and there's a third bolt up there uh, those three bolts will actually uh, hold the the steering box to, to the frame now what we need to do, we need to uh, jack up the car and put uh, a jack stand underneath it and uh, uh, we go from there. Now after jacking up the car, uh, I put two uh, safety jack stands underneath it on both sides. Now let me show you the uh, upper and lower control arms. Uh, this is the upper control arm right here and it's attached to the, to, the, to the steering knuckle and that's the upper ball joint. This is the lower control arm with uh, uh, the lower ball joints on this side right here. Now for the steering system, this is the outer tie rod, and this right here is the inner tie rod right here. That's the inner tie rod right there, and it's attached to the drag link. Uh, this is the uh, idler arm, and on the other side is actually the pitman arm that uh, comes out of the, uh, the steering box. Same thing on the left side, uh, inner tie rod, outer tie rod, and pitman arm is right here. The steering box is right above it, which is this guy right here. That's the steering box right there. Now I'm going to start with the upper and lower ball joints uh, check. Um, uh, that's why I have these two uh, floor jacks under the uh, lower control arms. And I uh, jacked up the, uh, the floor jacks just enough to take the load off of the, uh, uh, of the ball joints. Now once I do that, all I have to do is just come back out and just shake the wheel up and down like this and if, if, I, if I don't feel any play that means uh, the ball joints are okay but sometimes sometimes you have to uh, you're not strong enough or uh, maybe the play it's not it's not showing so all I have to do is just uh, use a pry bar like this one and pry upwards on the on the wheel itself like that now if, if the ball joint, if the lower ball joint has any play, you will feel it like clicking. But this one feels feels pretty good. So the ball joints are are okay on this side. Now, if we go to the other side, and we do the same thing. Now, I've already uh, jacked up the uh, uh, the lower control arms, and uh, we do the same thing on this side. feels pretty tight. Uh, let's do this with a pry bar. And it feels okay too. Now that tells me this check this check tells me that that the uh, the upper and lower ball joints are, are okay. They have no play in them. Now for the steering linkage, the inner and outer tie rods and idler arm or pitman arm, uh, instead of uh, shaking the wheel up and down, I'm gonna just shake it shake it side to side like this. As you can see, it has a lot of play in it. I can feel it right there. And if we go to the other side, oh, this one has has a lot of play too, just like the uh, the left side. 
So in order to find out which one is bad or which one has the more play in it, the inner or the outer idler arm, pitman arm, we're going to have to shake the wheel side to side. Ouch. Side to side. And look, look at the inner tie rod and the outer tie rod. As you can see right here, the idler arm is jumping up and down. That's not good right there. This is bad right there. Now the inner tie rod, it's also bad. It has a lot of play in it. Now for the outer tie rod, it doesn't have as much play as the inner. Um, actually, I can move the, I can move it by hand. I can feel the, I can move, I can feel the play in it. So this inner tie rod is bad. The idler arm is bad. Now let's check the left side. Now the left side, if we shake the wheel, oh look at that. See how that, that uh, the inner tie rod moves in and out like that? That's not, that's not good. That's not, that's bad right there. So the inner tie rod is bad on this side. Let's see the outer tie rod. Now the outer tie rod is not as bad as the inner. The pitman arm. Now sometimes if you put your hands on the on the inner tie on the pitman arm, you can feel the play. But most of the play is actually coming out of the the inner tie rod right there. So basically what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to change uh the inner tie rods on both sides and the idler arm. Uh uh but what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace uh, the outer tie rods and the inner tie rods. So I'm replacing in two outers, two inners, and an idler arm. You know, guys, after I uh, I checked the front suspension and the, the steering linkage on this car, uh, I noticed uh, something is wrong with the brakes on uh, the front brakes on this car. Uh, it feels like it has a, a lot of brake drag to it. So the front brakes are partially locked up. Now, uh, this is a problem because uh, uh, just like riding the brakes, like driving and riding the brakes, this will overheat the, uh, the brake fluid, the bearing, and the brakes themselves, and uh, 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 it will diminish the, uh, the ability for the, uh, for, the, for the brakes to stop the car. So, uh, uh, that's another, another problem. So, uh, it just uh, it never ends. You know, you, you try to fix something and, uh, you know, you find something else is wrong with the car. Now the left side is actually worse than the uh, than the right side. You see, this one has om almost like it's locked up. I can spin it, but that's not good. That's that's not supposed to happen like that. So uh, I have another problem on my hand right here. So uh, uh, I have to take care of it now. Uh, uh, this is the end of this video uh, as far as you know checking the suspension and the steering linkage. Uh, uh, the next video will be uh, on how to replace the, uh, the steam linkage on this car, like uh, the inner tie rod, the outer tie rod, and the, uh, the pitman arm. Now, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and please uh, hit the uh, notification bell, so every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And uh, from now until the next car fix video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.